A week ago, I created this account, my Varlemor Locked Hardcore Iron Man. In the last episode, we obtained 43 Prayer, a crucial level that unlocks Slayer. With precise prayer flicking, I'm now able to defeat most monsters in RuneScape. The plan ahead is simple. In order to fully unlock Varlamor, I have to reach the requirements in order to start Perilous Moon's quest. Today's episode is all about exceptions, leaving Varlamor in order to gain experience, but being forbidden to bring any items back. Today, we're gonna break some rules. We have prepared our account for what lays ahead, decent defense level in order for us to sustain a few of the hits, 55 attack, which will be enough to wear the sulfur blades, and now it's back to strength training in order to get a couple of more max hits. As if the day couldn't get any better, also just got a genie. Here it is, the big level I've been working towards for a while. Level 75 combat. We can now hit 14s while spraying, but most importantly, we can now start training Slayer. That being said, let's start lamping our Hunter. I'm still somewhat firm that I'll be able to get very close to level 20 Hunter just from lamping. For now though, I'm getting a full inventory of food and visiting Konar to see what kind of tasks I can get. I'm being absolutely robbed if I want I go to ports are in 3000 coins that's like my entire bag but <sighs> There it is, we are leaving, we're going straight to Port Sarim. Why am I here? It feels so wrong, I don't wanna be here. Look at this demon, 2 sixty nine. 69 this is the first and last time we're seeing this guy. We have now entered the Karend. I've been thinking, how do I even get to Konar? Do I need to walk all this way? This is gonna be rough. Do I, I guess I need to walk all the way here, left, down here, through Shazian, climb up here, then all the way left here maybe? I don't even know how to get to Konar, my guy. Can I walk through here? Okay, we can walk through it's not that bad actually i don't even know which tasks i can get but i just want it to not be horrible you know i think this is fine 157 caliphites in a caliphite cave i think this is not too bad level 10 slayer 38 more levels to go and i'm leaving on the floor absolutely every drop 13 14 15 slayer 16 18 slayer getting approximately 7k xp per hour big 20 28 levels to go 21 22 23 24 and that should be the last level for this task all right conar be gentle give me something i can do Trolls in Keldagrim. Wait, where is Keldagrim? Wait, <laughs> Keldagrim OSRS. Where's Keldagrim? Wait, don't I need like a quest for that thing? Oh no, I just need to go to Releka. I should be alright, yeah? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to walk half a map. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, this task might be very annoying. I'm just gonna have to flick my way through it and I am not looking forward to it. There's 25, 26, 27 Slayer, still 122 to go. I'm gonna be here forever. 28 Slayer, 20 levels to go. 29, big 30 Slayer. And there's level 31 Slayer. And that's uh, 68 strength. 32 Slayer, 33, 34. Alright, that was a very nice Slayer session, going from level 9 all the way to 34. It is time for me to chill a little bit, so let's go right back to Varlemor. As you can see, I'm bringing back zero items, uh, but yeah, three hours of prayer flicking is enough for now. So I'll split this into a couple of sections, and also I need to continue farming and herblore training. There's level 19 farming, we can now plant Taromin, meaning that we can make some strength potions. That's probably going to be our core way of training early herb, alongside obviously guams and attack potions, <laughs> if you know you know but dead 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 and that's a camo top first camo event completed we'll take it 46 thieving doing my evening farm run as well up to 20 now this should be enough seeds for a little bit of time the next thing i want to train is fishing and i can pick a small fishing net right over are you serious I cannot pick a small fishing net from the floor, but I can pick lobster pot and I can pick fly fishing rod. I can trade the lady over here for a small fishing net and you know what, I might just buy one of everything. Yeah, we might as well do it. The next section is us AFKing all the way to 20 fishing. That's gonna be the requirement out of the way for Perilius Moons. Good morning, here's 6 fishing. I can't wait till we actually have all of the pieces so we start getting XP lamp for these. There's a mime mask, we'll take it. Fishing level Currently, level 8. 10 fishing. 21 fishing. Accidentally went one over the limit. I was just turbo AFKing. I do my farm run right now. And then I do believe it is time to train a little bit of Slayer again. 21 farming. Back once again outside of my land. Please, Conar, give me something nice. Hellhounds in Taverly Dungeon. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a bit annoying, but 
doable probably that's gonna be a long ass task for this task i'm really gonna have to lock in hellhounds are such a long walk away from any altars any banks anything like that so flicking is gonna need to be on point and if it's not we're gonna be feeling it also this is the type of task that could unironically get me killed by the way eh, like honestly like if my pc crashes or like root light crashes or anything like that we're just straight up gone got my dusty key this could be slightly scary because of the blue dragons but if i get hit by this little guy first there we go now i can sprint here and this guy should hopefully not hit me yeah we made it out of that pretty safely now the next annoying thing is trying not to get poisoned by these spiders here and we're here we did it okay so here's what i'm gonna do right this is the safe spot hellhounds will never get here so if i ever feel like any sort of lag or anything i just run exactly to this tile and i should be fine and that's mainly since i don't have any teleport unlocks or anything like that and if i need like a short break from flicking i can just get behind this wall basically that's gonna be my plan this is gonna take forever and i'm expecting oh will i ever even hit against these guys <laughs> oh yo yo we're gonna be here for about a year. One down, 130 to go. Apparently that's a combat achievement. What? How is that a combat task? As the first brimstone key, it seems so wrong to leave it on the floor, but I guess that's what we're doing. There is 35 Slayer, 13 more levels to go. There it is, 70 strength, suffering my way through. I'm gonna jump on attack for a bit. Still got 107 of these to go. This is very slow. 36 Slayer, 12 levels to go. Well, looks like I won't be doing the full task in one go because it takes forever and only three prayer points. There's 56 attack, we'll take it. Still have three prayer points, I'll go until that drops to zero. And that would have been a great item to pick up if I could. Up to 38 Slayer and I'm uh, holding on to my one prayer point like my life depends on it. It is a disaster, prayer is no more. Meaning we'll have to come back here for the 45, but I've been doing this for about three hours and it's time for me to do something else. I want to get a nice decent total level. I don't want to have a bunch of level ones and right now I think it's a good time to do it. Many hundreds of steel arrows that we got from Hill Giants grind we're up to eight range and i'm just hitting bandits hoping for air rune drops that's gonna then help me train magic i do want to eventually reach 60 range and that's gonna be quite a project so might as well start early here's nine range 10 range 11 i didn't even know this was a possibility on the drop we got a steel pickaxe this should be a big upgrade once we actually decide to train mining 12 range i'll train a bit of wood cutting fletching and fire making very quickly probably only to like around level 20 or so i don't even know how this works but i think you can do you do it like this and the trees just drop and i'll be honest i don't even know what i'm doing nine wood cutting the plan is to make a bunch of arrow shafts because I also have a ton of feathers which I can then turn into arrows so everything is kind of working together to train a bit of fletching up as well. 10 wood cutting, 35 cooking, that is 10 fletching, that's 20 wood cutting, I'm finishing 15 fletching and then I'm moving on to something else. I just wanted to not see this many level 1s, I don't know why I'm in the mood to skill, that's fletching sorted for now, 15. Now I just finished 15 fire making and we move on from regular trees to oak and that's 15 fire making. 24 farming. Trying to get to 26 right now so I can start planting my limpwoods. That will come in handy later on when we are training Herblor. 25 farming. Currently enjoying some bandits to restock on a bit of my runes. And we got a genie. So let's pop our lamp and let's use it on Hunter. We're currently 11 Hunter, 110 XP. Looks like two lamps away from 12 Hunter. Long time coming. We now have 26 farming, meaning we can now start planting limpwood plants and Haralander. Both of these are amazing. Haralander simply for the fact that I can get unlimited chocolate from the store and limpurt plants simply for the fact that I can start creating strength potions and eventually super strength potions down the line and with these guams being picked I do believe right now my herblor level is also level 5 herb is super slow early on but as soon as we unlock perilous moons we'll be able to train it much better I have collected a lot of grimy merentils and guams we should be able to get maybe like one level from this uh, there's level 6 herblor First Hunter XP, 110, we are almost level 12. Another adventure outside Varlamor, let's hopefully make it out alive. Our very first quiz master event. I believe the best reward is to pick mystery box. I don't exactly know all the drops I can get from this, but I know there's some cool ones. We get a lamp, wow, I didn't actually know you could get a lamp from this. Let's put it in Hunter. 
And we get 110 XP. We're now 12 Hunter. Very cool, actually. Nice. 39 Slayer and only 9 more levels to go. Just like that, we've gone and done it. This Slayer task took forever, but we're now 39 Slayer, almost 40. I'm gonna cast a few spells on guards. This is level 18 magic. That is 19 magic. As soon as I get to 21, I can get a bunch of experience with all the nature runes that we got. We are now up to 74 strength and we are one level away from switching to either attack or defense. At that point, I have enough strength in order to wield the dual Makuhitl. And as you can see, I've highlighted my air runes. We are staying here on the bandits until we have enough of those. It's episode number three and Buffalo still do not have a hitbox. Just quickly recording this, even though I'm in the middle of a new world stream right now, we got some water Runes, we got some earth runes, we got a lot of death runes actually, not bad, and a lot of arrows. I didn't really process the amount of arrows I received and the amount of chaos runes I received from that random event as well. That's both really impactful. This is what a typical bandit's inventory looks like. A bunch of herbs, some uncuts, and a bunch of runes from the event as well. That's 20 magic. I was on my way to grab a slayer task, but I decided it is time to stop procrastinating and actually train rune crafting from 1 to 20. I think it's gonna take a long time I'm gonna try to do it with books. I don't even know if I need to complete rune mysteries first Obviously, there is absolutely no way to train this skill on Varlamor So I have to do it outside in order to unlock the ability to complete Perilius moons I'm gonna be here in this library on Zia for a while making sure I can actually gain experience here before I continue Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. No five rune crafting XP. <laughs> okay well, So it begins five xp at a time all right let's see how much xp per hour we're actually getting with this thing so let's not misclick hold two get room crafting xp can i just click like this Oh my goodness, we are getting 300 XP per hour. That's level 2 rune crafting, 18 levels to go. Getting double XP rate right now. We're getting 10 instead of 5. There is level 3 rune crafting. And I will now get 15 XP, so it gets faster and faster. We are now up to 4 rune crafting, and we now get 20 experience. That's level 5 rune crafting, 6, 10 rune crafting, 16. It is so funny because right now it's much faster than it was in the early. Like right now I'm getting 80 XP per book. 18, I want to get out of here. Quite a nice session and this is going to be the last book we're going to be using. We are now level 20 rune crafting. That is the requirement out of the way for Perilius Moons. Get rid of all of these other books. We're never going to use them. Got this from a random event, but you know what? Just for the sake of it, we didn't get it on Varlamor, even the Emerald is going to the floor. Let's grab the next Slayer task and finish off the 48 Slayer grind as well. Okay, this is pretty important. Let's get a good task. Calphites in Calphite Lair. One of my favorite tasks because I never risk dying, actually. 40 Slayer, 8 more levels to go. Getting solid 8k XP per hour as well. Not too bad. 41 Slayer. I believe this is officially halfway point to 48, so we're almost there. Task completed, I'll do more Slayer tomorrow. I've done it again, AFK'd my strength to 75, and now we can train attack all the way to 70, so whenever we get Perilius Moons drops, we can actually wear them. Good morning, don't mind me just rolling my way back to Konar to grab another task. I do think today is the day to finish this 48 Slayer. I hate leaving Varlamor to do Slayer, I just don't wanna do it, but I have to do it. Alright, let it be something doable, please. Greater Demon Isle of Souls. This seems very doable, actually. Nice. All right, here we are. Let's see how long this takes. First level 58 attack, but also 80 combat, which is huge. And we are super close to a Slayer level as well. 42 Slayer. If only I could pick it up. It's right there. It would be so good. There it is, 43 Slayer. We're getting about 6.5k XP per hour, so fairly slow. Hey, 59 attack. Wait, I have not done this event. I don't know. The last time I've done... Dude, I don't even know how to do this anymore. The last time I've done this, I remember being a kid. I didn't even know that this was still a thing. All right, so what am I supposed to get from this event, actually? Snapdragons. Okay, I mean, not bad, I guess. 44 Slayer, 4 levels to go. Task completed, I'm going back to Varlamor for a little break. I think this would be a good time to say that I've actually been very consistent with my farm runs. Here's level 30 farming, and the reason why these are so important, obviously Herblor is gonna be crucial for this account. If I ever wanna tackle the Colosseum fully, we're gonna be needing some good potions for that 100%. Molly random event. Nice, two, two diamonds will take it. 
Perfect. There is a 21 magic. And the reason why this is so good is I actually finally have low alk right now. And I do have a lot of nature runes. And this is gonna be solid XP. So I'm gonna alk all my steel stuff. And then I'm probably just gonna be alking some potato seeds as I go. 22, 23, 24 magic. I am almost out of nature runes. Actually, fire runes. Somehow I'm losing fire runes before nature's. Back once again. We're probably just a couple of tasks away. Calfight in Calfight layer. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite tasks because I never risk dying. 62 attack. Another event. We're obviously gonna pick mystery box and this time we get a flyer. This is like the seventh brimstone key I'm leaving on the floor. I really want to pick it up. We are almost there. That's 45 slayer three more levels to go task completed back to Varlamor for some more magic training Every time I return to Varlamor, it's farming time. That's already 31. We can now grow strawberries We will get another book currently level 12 and we get 180 hunter XP. That's huge We're now up to level 13 seven more levels to go back once again to Conan black demons in the chasm of fire way that is <laughs> That has a little bit too much defense for my level though. I think this task would really be hard to do with my stats and my gear, I'ma be honest. Trolls in Keldegrim, we've done it once, we'll do it again. This one is much more doable, I'd say. Fishing random event, haven't had this one in a very long time. I don't really need fishing XP, starting on level 21. And we get 650 XP, we're now level 22. There is 46 Slayer. There we go. That's enough Slayer for today. I do believe tomorrow is the day where I will actually finish 48. Pretty nice flicking session. Lost four prayer points in the whole task, basically. If you were wondering how I plan on training magic, this is literally it. I'm gonna be doing this... I don't know, man, for like half an hour or something. And uh, hopefully we'll have uh, a lot of air runes by the time I'm done hopping. I don't think I can hop any longer. We have 312 chaos runes. We got a few water runes, a lot of earth runes, and decent amount of air runes. That's 25. 26 magic, decided to move to bandits. 28 magic, 29, and there it is, earth bolt. I don't really have a way to get fire runes consistently anyways, so I'm probably just sticking to earth bolt until 40. 30 magic, and I am pretty much out of runes. Dude, I got jump scared. I thought I got a pet, but I got a Hespori seed. What? 3 XP at a time, 7 Herbler. Another genie, another hunter XP. 130, we're almost 14. Good morning. Today, I'm finishing this thing. Two more Slayer levels to go. Let's get it done. Most likely one of the last tasks this account will ever have to take. Let's take a look. Calfights in Calfight Layer. You guys already know the drill. One of my favorite ones. Please excuse the background noise, but here is 47 Slayer. Now we only have one level to go, and usually the last level is the easiest to get. So let's get it done quickly. Wait, that is huge. Leo a random event. I do believe I have all the sets right now already from him so if this gives me the emotes we are absolutely chilling and we now have a zombie walk emote yeah so we need one more and once we have that we start getting lamps from this random event and that's 66 attack out of the way and also 83 combat very beautiful that is my eighth slayer task completed and with that i do believe we are one task away from being done with the slayer grind let's get it done before it gets too late i just hope we get a nice easy task to finish it off the last task of the account let's take a look fire giants in catacombs we can manage this we're gonna be flicking these until the slayer level is achieved there we go. We have gone and done it. 48 Slayer obtained on the account. We can now kill Naguas, which is uh, basically what we needed. And now I return to Varlamor and the next grind begins. I have spent over 20 hours prayer flicking in order to complete this 48 Slayer requirement. With that out of the way, fishing already being done and rune crafting exception being completed, I now only need 10 construction and 20 hunter before I can enter Kantorum. In the next episode, we will be able to fully unlock our account. Make sure to give a video a like. If the video gets 5 likes, I will upload episode number 4. See you next week.